Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome to Hell Dorado, which is a game set in the Old West, which my understanding is, is a tactical shooter, but it has a pun in the title, so it's pretty much checked all the boxes straight away there. Rochester Cliffs, a dead oak tree. Go to the oak. And there you will find further instructions. Whoa, 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 you've seriously just paraphrased that note. Doc McCoy is in my power for your friend's life. Okay, so Doc McCoy is my friend and has been kidnapped. That would have been useful for you to read out. So... We have got a bloke with a gun and a floozy. I would argue that one may be more useful than the other. Now have Cooper read the next message. Well, first, who are my, who are my people here? I just want to know who all these people are. So can I can I be any of these people? I want to be this guy. Oh no, I can only be Cooper for the minute. Hurry. There is a signpost behind the bridge. You will find further instructions there. Look, a guard. I'll take care of him. Oh, so you've got to turn on the guard's view cone. Interesting. And there's a rabbit. And he really doesn't like rabbits. Luckily, he's very bad at shooting them. Actually, that's not true. My understanding is that guns of the Old West were actually incredibly unreliable and inaccurate, so not really his fault. Okay, we'll sneak around there. See what happens. And as I do that, well, I kind of feel like I'm in the view cone, or how does the view cone work? Oh, okay, so he sort of sees me, but he's not. Uh oh. Oh, flip. Good work. There's no need to be sarcastic, game. Okay, so I've been pretty much spotted there. But I've got my gun ready. Feels good, right? Find a good shooting position. I don't know. I feel like he's going to shoot at me anyway. Oh yeah. Now okay, Cooper can it. clearly that's see it. the guard. Take him out. Good work. Have Cooper go over to the corpse and lift it up. Can we put it in a hilarious position? So you can move corpses around. I'm guessing, therefore, people discovering corpses of their friends. There'll be a stealth element to this, but uh, and yeah, moving around corpses quite slow. Understandable. And a new flipping guard just showed up. Alright, let's do exactly the same to everyone in wherever it is I'm going. Lie down on the ground, sneak up to the opponent on the bridge, and knock him down. Okay, so if I just take him, uh, yeah, I'll just tell Cooper to get on this, and then he will go up to him and then take him out all by himself. Sneak up to him and then bite his ankles or something. Shall we Good work. Now, have Kate tie up the unconscious guard. So that's her thing, is it? She ties people up. Alright, everyone get over there. Everyone- Ooh, everyone produces noise. That's quite good. I like that. Have Cooper read the message he found behind the rock. Well, I'm just have him put the body down first, game. Chill out. Go through the gate. There are some crates behind the rocks and to the left. You will find another message between the crates. Okay. But we've got people coming up to a guard tower here. Is the person sending me this message the same guy in the fort? Because I'm getting mixed signals from him about whether he wants me in or not. Choose Kate and activate her seductive powers. Seductive powers? Oh, wait, hang on. What, what can Kate do? So Kate's got... Hang on, let's have Kate. Kate, what have you got? You've got... You've got a gum. You've got... Makeup. Which I don't necessarily see the practical point of. You've got simulate blackout. And you've got seduction. Alright, well this I've got to see. Alright, activate seduction mode. Have Kate enter the enemy's view cone and wait until he approaches her. So she'll enter his view cone. And it will go purple. Oh yeah, not red, purple. So Kate's got all the seduction powers. Okay, so while she can fight, she's kind of better as like a spy type character. And then he'll come out to her. And I'm, the game says knock him out. What happens if I don't knock him out? Does he just kind of... Does he do anything? Or does he just come here and sort of say, Yep, that, that there garter belt looks even better up close than it did from over there. Nice Very kick. Good. Oh, so she does the tying up, but she actually can't carry folk. Okay, that's fine. So let's Cooper activate his watch. Musical watch. Okay, so Cooper just carries around a little musical watch that he uses to lure people, all right. Wait until the guard approaches the watch, and then take him out with the throwing knife. All right, throwing knife it is. Guard hears music, comes out to investigate. Can't see anyone of us because we're behind the rock. And knife to see you to see you knife. 
So we can use the crates to cover ourselves here. Cooper, go hide here by the crates. Probably crouch down. Yep. Oh, okay. Hang on. Ooh, blimey. Right, so when's the right time to go over? Is it when... Does his vision go all the way that way? Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't hide here. Uh, what does his vision not cover then? Is it this Is it this space by this rock here you want me to go to? Probably. Uh, okay, not the crates back here. This rock here. And then that guy's just looking a completely different way, so that's fine. I've also got a gun. I could just kill people with my gun. Shall we? Okay, and then... Oh, 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 what the balls. Okay, you've got to be crouching. You've got to be in just the right spot, because this game... This game is not messing around. This game takes things flipping seriously. You better be playing by this game's rules when it wants you to be. So just... Ooh... Are we just safe? We're just safe. So suspicion stacks, it doesn't fade afterwards. Which is harsh. Break into the jail. On the left, next to the prison wing, there is a message with further instructions. I feel like we've brought a guy with a massive gun and we ought to use him for something. Yeah, there we are. There's Cooper and Catherine. Where's the other bloke? The bloke who had like the big shotgun. Turn on the quick action mode. Select Kate. Activate the powder and click on both enemies behind the rocks. Then select Cooper. Activate the throwing knife and click on the opponent up on the wall. That's right. Makeup one, makeup two. Let's get down. Go to Cooper. And his quick action is to use. No, no, sorry. He, he can't use his gun. Use throwing knife on man, right? Have we got the throwing knife selected? Yes. So, so okay, so the quick actions are so everyone can do their actions simultaneously, which is quite cool. And start the quick action. How do I look? Oh, so her makeup is just a drug. Okay, excellent. Now, I'm guessing we need to knock those two guys out. Kate is quieter than Cooper and Sam. Yeah, speaking of Sam, I can't help but notice he's got a shotgun and he's just hanging out here with some guys we've already tied up. While you are just... No, 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 no. Also, probably beat these guys up at some point, right? We just beat these guys up. There we are. That seems better. Now, let's have her in sneaky mode. Keep an eye on these guys. So, I guess I probably need this guy's view cone. And Okay, so you've got this guy's view cone here. And then you've got this guy's view cone. Okay. So we can use her... Yeah, her her kind of noise thing is quite low. So we really don't need to worry much about I'm on my way. her at all. In fact, actually, we can pretty much start going in straight away. Unless he turns... No, he doesn't turn this way at all. Right, go, 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 go. And now what? I can't wait. Faster, faster. Uh-oh, seduce, seduce, seduce. Oh, flip. Given this guy's vision cone and position, we might be able to literally just run behind this guy when he's over this position. Just run up behind him and just knock him unconscious that way. We may not need to do anything else, but just in case, we'll go into crouch. So at this point, I think we can just start moving towards him. And then hopefully we'll get up to him before he turns. Come on. Come on. All right, she did turn and see me for a moment, but we were okay. And that means that you Hello? can walk over here and then knock out this guy. Because apparently Kate can just do all of this by herself, really. Have Cooper climb up the ladder and then hide behind the crates. All right, so Cooper's going up and he's going to hide behind here. Is flipping. Oh, thank goodness Sam's actually going to bother doing a thing. Possibly immediately get spotted. Open the pallet for the combo actions. Now, I'm guessing we're doing a quick action where everyone's going to take a shot at somebody, right? So, combo action and brawlers. Good. Now, set the area where you want the combo action to be performed. I'm guessing the area with the bad guys in it. And then everyone just runs in and just beats everyone up. They're going to sleep for a little while. Now perform the action binders. Okay, so oh, so everyone's allowed to do the tying up. Yep, everyone just start tying. Already Sam can. Cooper's Cooper's too good to tie everyone up. He just leaves that to everyone else. 
blow up the gate to the cell wing and free El Cortador. He is being held in the cell at the end of the corridor. Ah, I'm doing a prison break in order to, uh, to trade for the doctor. All right, Sam, you're finally doing something. You've got some... Wait, he's got dynamite and he's also got TNT. I didn't realize there was a difference. Change to the third person view. Action view, you say? Okay. Oh. Okay. Choose Sam's Winchester. Blimey. Okay. <laughs> okay. You shouldn't... You shouldn't let us get this close to the action. It's, um... <laughs> it's not... This isn't your most flattering look. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, okay. Winchester it is. Very good. Shoot at the TNT. I could do that. That looks like their I'm unconscious look, but they are not responding at all. I will say it makes a nice change to be able to actually do some manual shooting within kind of a half turn based system. That's nice. Doors blow open. I'm guessing a couple of people mined. What? Why did that blow up? Who blew that up? I didn't. Or am I, was I just the distraction? Dynamite away, I think. Lovely. Oh, and he's gone into the I love you, I'm seduced pink purple vision, which is odd. Anyone left? Yeah, a few people are left. Here we go. This is like it should work through the window. Oh, yeah. Lovely. So I'm now just challenged with going into the cell where this guy was previously kept prisoner, but equally, I feel like he was he's not really there anymore. So we've got those guys over here, who seem to be facing into a corner, which is great news. I'll get my dynamite, which I've got Oh, hang on, just gotta get the right This seems perfect. Right there. Beautiful. Get my gun out. Does anyone want to finish off? I feel like Sam has totally just got this by himself. We don't really need anyone but Sam. Sam is totally on top of this. There's one other person. I really hope that wasn't the guy we were supposed to be rescuing. And one final letter. Or does Cooper need to get this? Are we saying Sam's illiterate? Because that's really mean to Sam. Right, let's bring Cooper up. Because apparently I imagine he's the one who needs the letter. Thank you, Mr. Cooper, for distracting the guards. I'm sure your friend will appreciate it, since we will let him live a little longer. Tomorrow, come to the church in Santa Fe, alone. Why do I not trust that good things involving the exchange for my friend are going to happen there? Ooh, cutscene. Slightly grainy traditional cutscene. <laughs> oh, it's very 90s. I love it. I know it's extreme, but you know what? We've got to be harsh on the anti-vaxxers. They need to be vaccinated against measles, mumps, and rubella. It's just for the best. Oh, it's Cooper. He looks a little bit like a budget Indiana Jones. You have a debt to pay, you and your friends. Repay it, and your friend will suffer no more. He's dying. Without the antidote, it will be a slow, painful death. What should we do? There's a relay station on the way from here to Fort Wingate. They're expecting a train at the station three days from now. A train full of weapons, meant for the fort. I want these weapons, Mr. Cooper, and you will get them for me. The game's cut is to take place in a watercolour flipbook style, which is very odd. Alright, so we've got a big camp of people that need to be taken care of. I've got a Native American here, who is going to be apparently clearly the first person. We've got ourselves a random yokel who's got a shotgun, can toss stones, drinks a lot of tequila, and can lay a bear trap. Blimey, I mean, that's quite useful. Or we've got, ah, uh, that's Sam. Where's Cooper? The Cooper just said he couldn't be bothered to show up at this point. Alright, fine. Uh, let's start off with... Do you have any projectile weapons? So he's got a bow but no arrows at the moment. So we might just be able to sneak in. Actually, you know what? This guy could just totally just go and nail this guy. Because it looks like his vision mysteriously doesn't cover his entire left side. 
So for whatever reason, I feel like we might be able to just get him. So let's just tomahawk it up and just go and get him quickly. Just go and knacker this man. He, he he didn't see that. Somehow he couldn't see that. All right, now let's go get the arrows. Oh, apparently I could have just run and got the arrows anyway. Well, that's much easier than the way I went for. Okay, now we've got arrows. We've actually got projectiles. Right, I think it seems pretty safe to bring the other two lads up at this point. The road seems clear. All we've got is the camp. It looks like there's nothing much here apart from the camp itself, albeit uh, four people around the fire, multiple horses, this guy. Hmm. Dynamite. Can any of you use dynamite? Sam, you're here, aren't you? Sam, go grab the dynamite. Uh, that's stones for the big lumbering dolty sort. I wonder if I can lure this guy over here. There you go. Wait, what? How did you see me? I feel like I ought to have been hidden there. Right, you. We're going to need you in a hurry. Bo, Bo, Bo. Get that guy. Get this guy. Did that work? Yes. All right, good. That was a good save. Okay, trees do not provide very decent line of sight protection. Uh, but you've now got two dynamites, which is excellently good news. You're actually asleep. You're both facing up. You're the only one who's now going to cause me any difficulty. Oh, but with the exception of you. But you're there. You're not going to see anything. I would say the safest thing that we can probably do would be do a combination action where one person... Yeah, probably uh, the guy takes out uh, my Native American, shoots an arrow at this guy, and the rest of these guys all get dynamited as a group. And I feel like that should be fine. And the horses don't have line of sight, we don't need to worry about them. Okay, those two are now as far forward as I can get them, but they seem pretty safe, all things considered. So what we're going to do, Hawkeye, you know what you're doing. You are going to put a bow into this guy, because you actually, I think you've got a pretty good shot at him here. So you'll go for a bow for that guy. And uh, Sam, I think we know what you're doing. You are exploding everyone. Now, just in case any of this doesn't work, as a backup action, you're then going to use your bow on the other guys, too. Okay? Use bow. Use bow. Use bow. And use bow. Okay? And as a secondary... I don't know why... There's probably a reason why you shouldn't do it this way. Which is, as a secondary action, Sam should basically just shoot all of the guys. Over and over and over and over. Just as just as a backup action. So if we throw some dynamite, then we just start randomly firing into the crowd. That seems reasonable. Let's let's see if that actually works. And start the quick action. Go! Alright, they're just randomly firing at everyone. Fire all the bows. Fire, fire. Is everyone dead? It was a little bit messy than I was expecting, but I think everyone is dead, yes. Is anyone actually alive, or are all of these people dead? Because if they're all dead, that worked beautifully well. Okay, that is the camp cleared out, and that gets us a whole bunch of stuff. So, for example, he's now got, um, whatever this herb is. You, go and grab the herb. I think that's one of your abilities. What does herb do? Uh, healing. Okay, so he can heal people who've been injured, because we have potentially been a little bit shot. And you, you can get that. You can pick up the tequila. That's one of your abilities. Go on, go grab it. We're not done yet, though. Though we've taken out that camp, there's a lot more of this map. There's, yeah, there's a secondary. Oh, blimey, there's loads of them. There's flipping. There's a whole flipping town to take out. <laughs> right. Okay. Yes, there's a lot more than I was originally thinking there. So, uh, okay. These two guys will probably be an excellent point to start out with, because if we look at their action cones, neither of them is facing away where they're ever going to see... Oh, hang on. But you're... Okay, you're covering each other. And you theoretically might just see someone taking out this guy. That's... What the hell? What the hell are you? The heck? Oh, I thought that was a dog there. No, that is a bloke. Okay. So, these two people can be taken out in a row. We're just going to need to take out... Potentially, these two guys are looking at each other. I think we'll be able to take out these two guys without actually any trouble whatsoever. 
I'm going to suggest that Hawkeye is probably going to be the lightest step. Let's just send him down to here and let him go on a little stealth mission to knock out some of these guys. So Hawkeye sneaks up behind this guy and should just be able to take him out. Yep, takes him out. No one else hears that. Lovely. Now, the question is, can Hawkeye take out this guy without this guy seeing him? Ooh, let's find out. And then let's just quickly grab this guy's corpse and then take him back up here. Quickly, 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 quickly. Pop the body down here and we'll figure out what... Hawkeye. Hawkeye over here, man. Let's figure out if we can... What, let's figure out if any of us know what to do with this body. You can grab it. You can grab it. You can... Oh, you know how to tie up. Excellent. You actually know how to tie people up. That's magnificently good news. Okay, he actually knows how to tie people up, which just stops them waking up again after they've been put to sleep. All right. These two lads can now both kneel down as they've got the guns. And can just very carefully make their way in this direction. And then simultaneously can do some murdering. Both of them should be okay to actually get really close to these guys. Because line of sight doesn't act like you might expect it to for normal humans. But uh, never mind, eh? Right, let's have a quick action where these guys just start randomly firing. Or hugely at random. Now your job is to murder this man. And if he keeps going in trouble afterwards, just run up to him and punch him in the face until such time as he's no longer around. Alright? Okay? Good. Alright. Go, go, go. Oh, you had to get film mode if you want to do this dramatically. This is the least dramatic film I've ever seen. That's right. Go offensive Mexican stereotype. Oh, are they going to do all their actions regardless? No. Okay, good. We're good. Okay, that makes the game so much better that, that there is apparently that happens. Okay, I think we've just figured out how you play this game and thus make it awesome. That's magnificently good news. You definitely use film mode. Film mode is marvellous. So we've got some more dynamite and stones over here for the event that we need to take care of that. This is a guy who's asleep and a guy who's patrolling. More dynamite for taking out groups, which could be useful for clearing out this house at the end. There's nothing in this house at the end here. Okay, that's fine. All right, that's this side of the map cleared out, I think. So I'm assuming these guys were planning to rob the train, and we're going to stop them before they rob the train. Admittedly, they decided to rob the train, they needed to bring, like, you know, 40 guys, and we've decided we're going to do it with three. So we are just that damn badass. Okay, good place to attack. This guy's largely on his own, but this guy sometimes wanders backwards and forwards and has visibility of him. So we'll keep an eye on this guy's visibility cone, but other than that, as long as he's walking away, we should be able to pick off this one guy as our starting point for taking out the barn. So the one bloke who's got oversight of this guy here is about to pass him and then leave again. So when he starts leaving again and turning around, we can take out this guy. We can just knock him unconscious, carry him away, and be done. So he does that, comes back here. And we are in good shape to knock this guy out. Can you actually carry him? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we may have a problem here. That he can't carry him. Right, go, go, go. I'm going to need the big heavy lad. Right here, right now. Can you carry this guy? Uh-oh, neither of them can carry him. Right. Um, lads, walk away and hope there's no consequences for this. <laughs> Oh dear, this is going to go badly. Um, he's been, yeah, he's seen him. And now they're nervous because I needed to bring someone to carry him away before I tied him up. Because apparently you cannot lift someone who's already been tied up. Wait, I thought you could. I swear you did in the training mission. I assume he's going to untie his friend and then possibly wake him up. Yep, give him a nice kick to wake him up. That's a nice little touch. And now that guy's in a slightly permanent state of freaked out. So he's going to be really alert and twitchy because he was knocked unconscious. Though he looks like he's calming down now. His thing's going yellow. So maybe he's just going to run around for a bit. Then he'll calm down again. I'd say potentially these five gentlemen at the back here could be an excellent starting point. What I'm going to say is we're just going to, instead of trying to do a combo action, 
I'm just going to use a quick action to charge in and do the awesome murdering of everybody. Alright, that's the plan. So Hawkeye is going to run to this point. He's going to take a shot with his arrow. And if that doesn't work, just as a backup, he's going to whack this guy with a tomahawk. He's then going to run over and he's going to start whacking these guys with a tomahawk as well. That's what he's going to do. His actions are just going to all be about running between places, hitting people with tomahawks. Okay, so you can only have five actions per person. All right, that makes sense. So that's okay for him. Next, Pablo Sanchez, the big lad with the shotgun. Um, I feel like as he needs to get close up to people, he's probably safest. And he hasn't taken a hit yet. So he's probably safest. Running to here. Then he pulls out his weapon. And he takes a shot at this guy. Yeah. And he pulls out his weapon and he uses it again on this guy. And at that point, I don't think he can do anything else really. So instead, he reloads and he shoots the first guy a second time. And just in case that wasn't good enough, he shoots this guy a second time too. So there's a lot of gun going on there. And finally, Sam, because Sam is clearly mad, runs to this point. He throws dynamite about here to, into kind of this sort of area, causing a lot of people a fair whack of damage. In fact, ooh, hang on. If he throws it here, then actually he'll catch those two people over there in it too. So he throws the dynamite over there. As a backup, he pulls out his gun and he starts shooting some folk. Because guns are going to solve his problems. Everyone ready to go? Film mode engaged. Go! Everyone run in! Come on! Come on, guys. All right, who's going who's gonna to get the first attack in? He gets the attack in. That takes him down. Beautiful. The shotgun appears to be working over with Sanchez. Oh, he gets shot a bit. He shoots that guy. Sanchez... Is Sanchez... I hope Sanchez isn't dead. <laughs> Sanchez is doing possibly some dramatic reeling. Sam's running about. You're supposed to be shooting that guy. Oh, I think Sanchez was murdered. Who got killed? Was it Sanchez? Pablo Sanchez was killed by someone with a shotgun. You can see him there crumpling to the ground. Okay, forget those actions. Those actions were very silly. What we're going to do instead is we're going to use the dynamite sensibly. Because we've got loads of this here dynamite. So we're going to do a much simpler action. Which is, Sam, you're going to use your one dynamite against all of these folk. Alright, that's what you're going to do. You're going to throw your dynamite to here. Is this going to... Ooh. Is this going to... Ooh. Actually, yeah, that's all I want. I want your dynamite right there so that all of those folk get hit by the dynamite. Yeah? That seems reasonable. While you're doing that, I want Hawkeye to run to here... And take a shot with this at this guy, okay? Now, just in case, you know, again, he can run in and finish him off if that's a problem. And then he can start going after these guys next. He'll definitely not be here when the explosion hits because, um, yeah, the dynamite will be the kind of the first action taken. Sam's action will then be to follow up with gunning people. And to make sure that poor old Pablo doesn't get into trouble... He's going to start off by doing some gentle walking just to keep him back for a minute and then he's going to go into the shooting of everyone one by one, okay? Activate! Yes, right, so now he runs forward. Come on, Hawkeye, take the shot with your arrow. That guy gets taken out. Boom! Where's the dynamite? Where's the dynamite? We're supposed to throw the dynamite in, Sam. Maybe Sam should just kind of throw in the dynamite. Maybe we shouldn't kind of worry about the rest of it. Maybe Sam should just throw in some dynamite. We would like you to throw the dynamite to about here and kill all of the people. Now back off. Uh-oh. Kill, kill the people. Everyone's, everyone's a little bit angry, but that's okay. All we need to do is just walk away. Definitely not our fault. Okay. We've now significantly reduced the number of guys here. I feel like at this point, we might just be able to just walk in, take these guys out pretty easy. Now, is this guy going to cause trouble anymore? Or are these guys now standing still? I think we might be alright. Hang on, what's your vision? Your vision's absolutely nothing, isn't it? Yeah, okay. You guys, just go stand over here. 
Hawkeye, I think you're probably the one with the silent weapon, aren't you? So you just come over here and just take these guys out one by one. Bow. Bow. Dead and dead. The bow's pretty damn powerful. The bow is gloriously powerful. Now, Hawkeye, we're good. You go and hide back here for a minute. Sam, I couldn't help but notice that there is more dynamite in this here house. And I think I can see a crowd of enemies up ahead there that will very much appreciate being dynamited. Oh, wait, that was... Oh, that was TNT destruction. Can I still use that to murder people? You're only allowed to lay that outside doors and stuff to destroy doors. So sadly, there's nothing I can do there. What I can, however, do is... Oh, no, 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 not you, not you. Um, Nighthawk, you can most certainly go and get those extra arrows because arrows are amazing. There we are. Hawkeye is now hidden behind this here tree. Mysteriously, this guy, this guy here cannot see these guys. Cunning plan for absolute silence, which is new action. What I'm going to suggest is we start off with Hawkeye. Hawkeye takes a bow and arrow shot at this guy, which he can do. Fine. However, at the same time, Sanchez is going to throw a stone behind these guys. He's going to throw a stone over here. And that's going to make both of them turn away. Right? Throw stone to there. Both of them turn away. Lovely. Hawkeye takes a step here. And then steps out to here. And then he's now got a clean line of sight. He then takes a bow shot at this guy. Then a bow shot at this guy. So in other words, all of the kills will be silent. This is going to go flawlessly. Hawkeye takes the dramatic shot. That guy goes down. Sanchez mysteriously gets completely spotted. Hawkeye takes another shot. And someone is probably killed. Probably Hawkeye. Right. Screw it, I'll do it myself. Maybe we don't need all of these people with their flipping everything. Maybe I could just kill... Both of these guys, right here and right now. Boom. And they can see something, but I'm not sure they know exactly what it is they're actually looking at here. He's dead. Can't help but feel this has actually gone way better than all previous attempts. Alright, Sam, hide back here for a second. Just going to make sure that Sanchez is well in cover. Alright, he's going to come and join you back here. And then I'm sending out Hawkeye, who's going to go and silent assassin up in this business. This guy's going to have more arrows. I'm not sure anyone's even coming over here. No, I think we're good. We're pretty clear here. Boom. He goes down. Lovely. I do love the idea of a tactical shooter where if you want to, screw it, just get down on the ground and do it yourself. That seems much better. Ooh, hello. Maybe we'll just take care of you and then just retreat just in case. Right, let's take out this guy next. Dead. And you, you're going down. Mysteriously, you don't want to. Now he does. And you. Back into cover. Several people dead. Don't think they're going to be able to find us, though. Beautiful. Let's have Pablo have a go at this, I think. That, 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 that sounds like Does it sound like shooting? That is interesting. I feel like this guy and his shotgun are significantly more powerful, and that is significantly more useful. So long, loser. Alright. Pablo, I feel like me and you could become friends. That guy's just mysteriously missed everything there. He's just missed the pile of... Uh-oh, oh, oh, blimey, blimey, blimey. Okay, we got problems, we got problems. Oh, 
I'm out of bullets! Don! Go, 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 go! Sam, save me! Sam is sort of glitching and wibbling on a wall here. He's also badly injured. Hawkeye? If anyone else is left, this is now up to you. No, that's Pablo. Don't shoot him. I feel like we're okay, actually. Which is good. Now, you've got some sort of ability, don't you? You can actually do healing. Did you just fail to heal? Pablo, you get. He was great. Do it again. This time, heal Pablo. Oh, it's a full heal as well. That is good. Let's use the tactical view to plan this out. We got one guy who's standing there. We got another guy who's over here who we don't need to worry about just yet. This is going to be our main source of trouble. This guy right here. He could be approached from the side pretty easily and straight onto this guy over here. I don't think that's actually too difficult. I don't think there's anyone... Are you dead or alive? Yeah, everyone there is dead. Yeah, okay, those two guys there could be stealthed pretty easily. We're going in for a stealth mission with our good friend here. This is all very, very good. So let's just get him down on the ground. Move him nice and slowly. Don't want him being seen. Don't want him being caught. Everything's going to be fine. So he should be able to sneak up on this guy and not get seen. Good night, sweet prince. And he should also be able to take out this guy by the rock here in a minute. Boom. Surprisingly nice water effects. That's actually quite nice. Well, flipping done game. Right, you stay in here for a second. Sam, you come up to the barn. Because there is, in the barn, some dynamite. I don't know which sort it is. I'm really hoping it's the sort you can throw. Gosh darn it, it's not. It's the useless sword that you can use to, I think, blow up doors, but it doesn't strike me as particularly good. Back to uh, Pablo, who can also join us over here. Come on, you go and join the others. While we try and figure out the approach for the final building. So there's no one actually in the building. Instead, we got four folks wandering around it. This guy over here... How much does he ever get to see? Because I'm kind of curious if we could snipe him off before all the others while he's around this side of the house. I don't think anyone else comes around the back of the house like that. Yeah, I'd probably be able to sneak Hawkeye around the back of the house here. Okay, that's, that's actually an interesting idea. Okay, fine. Got an idea then. So yeah, the game has conveniently given us this big open area to walk through. I think they kind of basically specifically planned for us to do this, which is always nice of it. Okay, let's take care of this. When this guy comes around the corner, he has to go down. And indeed he does. And so does this guy. And by the time they know it, we will be long gone. Go, 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 go. Just back off. Run for cover. Hawkeye, you've done a beautiful job. You do not need to do anything else here. Oh, I want to say, well, you don't need to do anything else. You might possibly be called upon to, you know, do this exact same thing for several other guys. But, you know, pro probably not. Well, okay, maybe. And as we sneak up on the last man, I think you can see roughly what this game is about. This game is really quite interesting. I actually... I mean, it looks scruffy, but I somehow just find that immensely charming. And I do actually really rather like the, um... I like the blend of kind of this tactical real-time strategy, together with adding in kind of the turn-based strategy by adding in the events and the film mode, and just getting to jump down and do it as a third-person shooter if you feel like it. It's just It just feels like a game where you kind of really play it however you want to play it. If you just kind of want to play it as a stealth game, you can do it. If you want to play it as a shooter, as you can do. Lots of games, like, claim to give you choice, but don't give you that much choice. This game, I feel like, gives you quite a lot of choice, so I kind of respect it for that. I will say it's very, very hard, and not entirely just by intention. It's also very, very hard because sometimes actions just don't work out in a logical way that you'd think they would. But regardless, it's an interesting little game. I, just, I can't think of anything else that's quite like it that I've played recently. So, you know, interesting oh, enough and maybe okay. worth a lot. But yes, that is Hell Dorado. And in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. It's been many a true nerd. 
and this has been the rather different and not entirely in a bad way Hell Dorado. Thank you very much and goodbye. Down, 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 get off it. Just hop off. Oh, oh, oh no, oh that was wrong! I would untie and save you, you understand, but there is a hovercraft. I really hope the bear's not still around. The bear is still around! The bear's still around! The bear's still around! Good news, guys! Elephants here! Hey!